What you need is sensitivity and sensibility. Sensitivity in our heart and sensibility in our head. It's a combination of these two things that works. So if you are sensitive to animals, and you won't harm them. They don't harm you unless you poach them or you uh, violate their space. Uh, you know, we have seen uh, today, uh, thanks to the social media and YouTubes, you can see a number of such instances how uh, a, a monkey was helped by a whale and our cats help our dogs. And, uh, you know, usually we say, you fight like cats and dogs, but th that's not the case. <laughs> Today, good dogs and cats, they stay you know, next to each other. So I feel that uh, an environment of uh, positivity can create uh, that type of atmosphere, we, uh, you know, we envision for a safe and secure world. Having said that, I would say that this current situation uh, with the, in our human society of aggression and depression has a deep impact on the environment also. Because someone who is so stressed doesn't care how he or she lives. You know, they don't even care about their body. Many times they commit suicide. That's a violence on oneself. Mm. On, on the other hand, they will not be even able to be sensitive to environment. Or even you tell them something that's sensible, it doesn't go in. Right? The communication is simply not there. So I feel first and foremost to re-establish communication is to take some time and relax. Mm.